Hi everyone, right, welcome to this video. So Otaki Ritsuke, the head of Katori Shinto Ryu, has died. Now, um, I think in death, everybody should celebrate death, especially if it was like this gentleman who had a massive amount of time in life. He was over 90, he was born in 1926, and he had a great life and he's been training and practicing in what he loved for pretty much most of it. So you cannot complain at over 90 and doing what you love. So that's superb. Now I only met Otaki Sensei uh, twice uh, in his house and uh, he was probably one of the nicest men I've ever met in Koryu. He was genuinely extremely nice. A few years before I met him, I went to see another grandmaster and um, they said to me, said, Anthony, I've got a gift for you. And they brought out their book, they signed it for me and gave it to me. And then they went, 4,000 yen, or 3,000, 4,000 yen, please. I was like, oh, it was just a trap. And they were horrible, horrible people. And when I went to see Otaki, he went, oh, after the conversation, said, I've got a gift for you. I was like, mm. and he said, he brought out his book, he brought his book. And I was like, oh, here we go. Uh, you know, usual, like they trap you into selling more copies. And he wrote that for me. And I said, do you want some money? He says, no, it's a gift. And it was the one time I thought, wow. Because in Japan, money, money and all that. And you're like, that was wonderful. And I keep that. I've took the dust jacket off and I've kept it safe. And it's one of my treasures, that from uh, Otaki Sensei. And not only that, but I went to him because I'd heard that Katori Shinto Ryu had some ninjutsu. And this was early in my time. And I said, could you please tell us about... Um, Katori Shinto Ryu Ninjitsu and he went yeah yeah we just put my recorder on and uh, he just said there and we published it and we published the tradition of Katori Shinto Ryu Ninjitsu and nobody believed it at the time he went yeah that's only for the highest level students I went well I just asked him and he told me because nobody was that interested or they tried to follow the way so he was genuinely very nice and then later on I went back and I took uh, some of my friends there who were on a bit of a warrior trip around Japan and he was again very very nice and it, uh, he created a mini relationship with the one of the, the head guy i brought along and who went back to see him multiple times and that was great and actually gave him one of his book and his own book and he said this is so one of my friends in london has uh, otake ritsuke's book and because he said he was impressed by him so much so today is a celebration day we celebrate um the passing of uh, Otaki Sensei and the fact that he had a wonderful life and the fact that he did a lot for swordsmanship. So uh, Katori Shinto Ryu uh, has been passed on now, he's been passed on for a while I think because he was just getting too old and I think the uh, family there are very much connected to you know um, Katori Shinto Ryu because they're passing it down to their son so that they've entered the history. Okay guys um, what I would recommend you do is buy some of Otake Sensei's books. He did quite a few books and he did some great stuff. So let's celebrate his life and uh, thank you very much to Christian who has uh, given me this information. I didn't know about this but Christian sends me some stuff when he can. Perfect. All right guys thank you very much.